this weekend there is a huge fight between Dillian White and Alexander Povetkin. And these are five things you should look out for. The first thing is Dillian White mentally. Where is Dillian White mentally? You know, it's a tough, tough loss to overcome. He was this close to getting his shot at the WBC title, which he outright has earned about 10 years ago. He was that close and he loses Povetkin winning every round. That is a hard pill to swallow. We've seen Dillian White lose to Anthony Joshua in the same kind of same left uppercut. It was the same kind of knockout. It was a, a brutal knockout, but he bounced back, man. And at the time, that was huge. That is a huge stage. That was a meaningful fight. There was a huge rivalry there. And in the UK, it was huge. And he lost, right? And he lives in the UK at a sleep in this country where everyone's seen that fight. If you was going to show any sign of quitting or giving up or mental weakness, it was at that moment. And there was none of it. I don't expect Dillian White to turn up and even blink an eyelid. I think we're going to get even our, an even hungrier Dillian White. So we'll move on to the next, the next thing to look out for. But that is huge. Look out for Dillian White's mentality. The second thing to look out for is Povetkin had COVID-19. The initial rematch was set for January 30th and it got moved to March 27th because Povetkin was in hospital with COVID-19. That's a huge factor. That's something you need to look out for. On the, in the weigh-ins, we'll probably get a little bit of the story from that and seeing where he is at physically. But being 41 years old, listen, the big thing about Povetkin is his age. He's getting old, all right? And the main thing about being old as an elite sportsman is it gets harder to recover. But, you know, being able to recover is huge, all right? And be, having COVID-19 and then having to have a extremely intense camp and then having to fight somebody like Dillian White, who is a dog who's going to give you hell is going to be tough on the body so that's definitely something to look out for for me that's one of the biggest factors in this how has Dillian, uh, how has Povetkin recovered from COVID-19 how has his body reacted to COVID-19 going into a camp how long after having COVID-19 and leaving the hospital has he had to go into the gym to prepare for Dillian, Dillian White's an animal man that is a real big ask so for me that is a huge thing to look out for the third thing to look out for and to be aware of is the uppercut, all right? Is Dillian White open to the left uppercut or any uppercut, okay? One thing I've noticed with Dillian White, and Dillian White, listen, when you're that good, everyone does something wrong, all right? This isn't a dig at anybody. Everybody does something wrong. He's an elite fighter. He's that good that he's been able to get away with it and beat fantastic fighters. But he stands square when he's up against the ropes. And in certain situations, he stands square anyway. And he rolls and he doesn't look at his opponents, all right? He doesn't keep his eyes up. He looks at the ground. Very dangerous when you're in there with an old fox like Povetkin. And this isn't something that's hindsight. And I'm like, oh, I know that now. I've seen it before. You've seen it with Oscar Rivas. You've seen it with Anthony Joshua. You've seen it a few times where Dillian White seems like he's open to these shots because he's rolling and he's not going to see him. And the ones that hurt you are the ones that you don't see. So is Dillian White open to the left uppercut or any uppercut? I think he is. But the big thing is, Will they be able to adapt? I know they have Harold Knight in the, their camp now. Hopefully, he can help him. The whole thing with people getting onto Alexander Miller, oh, sorry, Xavier Miller, after the fight and saying that they should change his trainer and all this stuff. Listen, Dylan White looked fantastic. He won every round in full control. What else do you want? Why would you change the trainer? It was perfect up to the point where muscle memory kicked in, kicked in and you made the mistake that maybe you've been making the whole time. Every, your favorite fighter, whoever that is, makes mistakes all right and the thing is they say when you're put under pressure that's when you make their mistakes that you know you make but you kind of mentally keep them out you lapse them out so you don't make the mistakes because they could be dire especially in the heavyweight division but i think it was the opposite way around for dillian white he was in full control he was so comfortable that he made the mistake muscle memory kicked in like anything you're comfortable doing it you just start you know relaxing and sometimes it's a good thing but sometimes it can bite you in the bum and i think that's what happened to dillian white so hopefully i think he will i think it's you got he got punched so badly from that left uppercut i think it might eradicate it from his game because i'm sure his trainer his coach everybody his, whoever's in his team and cares about him every time in sparring every time he's on the pads and he's rolling he, as long if he's not looking up people are going to get onto him. So this might be something, this might be the best thing that ever happened because he's been open to that. So I'm hoping that um, they take that out of the game because Povetkin, I truly believe, you know, a lot of people want to say it was a, it was by chance and it was lucky that he landed a left uppercut. It's not, man. He set that up. He was going to the body the whole fight. And I think that went totally amiss by the commentators. 
But that left uppercut was set up beautifully. He fainted the jab and the left uppercut came in and boom, that was it. So, you know, for me, that's a huge factor. That's something to look out for. The fourth thing is Povetkin's age. Povetkin's 41. We mentioned this earlier. Reco your recovery on the body, COVID-19, his legs. Since he fought Christian Hammer, for me, Povetkin slowed down completely. All right. He, he, one thing about Povetkin, he's excellent at controlling the pace. He's ex excellent at controlling pace. He's that good. He's technically so adept and so just premier compared to everybody else. Not compared to everybody, but he's so good at what he does. He's able to dictate pace and survive against these young lions. He's able to do that. For me, Povetkin is slowing down. I think Povetkin is at the end of his tether now. His career, he's at the end of it, and he's been great. But he's so, he's so good that he can still kind of, he can fit in at the top tier. But that's definitely something you need to look out for. The last and final thing to look out for is will Dillian White adapt? And the huge thing is, he's trying. Got Harold Knight in there, which is a huge factor, and it just shows it's a positive sign, all right? I think the worst thing that you could see from somebody that loses, and the thing is with Dylan White, he didn't even lose in terrible fashion. For me, it's a heavyweight division. You can get caught, all right? He got caught. But the fact that he's gone out and got a, another trainer or another coach in Harold Knight, who's an experienced guy, has had a lot of success with Lennox Lewis, that's a huge sign, right? This guy's not here to, for a good time. He's here for a long time in his mind. He's planning for the future. He's got somebody in there that's trying to address you know, the problem that he's, he's, problems that he's had or maybe the things that they want to work on. It's, for me, they're already trying to adapt, okay? If he adapts in there, I think he can. I think Povetkin will give him the time to think about what he's doing. He'll give him the time to get comfortable and make decisions that he wants to make. If that's necessarily a good thing, Povetkin likes to slow, fight at a slow pace. Will we need a fast pace Dillian White, a maximum violence Dillian White that puts a lot of pressure on Povetkin's old legs, his old body, do we need that? I don't think so. We've seen Dillian White have a lot of success taking his time, you know, picking his punches. You know, he was hurting Povetkin a lot. Povetkin had to get off the floor two or three times. I can't remember now, but it was a lot of time. I remember thinking, the next time he gets knocked down, he's not getting up, all right? He was beating this guy. So the, so the real question is, does he need to adapt? Does Dillian White really need to adapt? He won every round. If there's anything he needs to change, it's just when he's rolling, keep his eyes on the opponent. Be aware of the left uppercut because it's there. He's there to get hit. So I, it's, a, it's something to look out for. Can he adapt if he needs to? But I think the real question here is, will he need to adapt? Does he need to adapt for this fight? And my answer would be no. If it's not broke, don't fix it. I just think there's the small things, them little mistakes, just get them out of there and he dominates. And that, ladies and gentlemen, are the five things to look out for. In my opinion, I think Dillian White will knock him out between six and eight. I think the age is going to be a huge factor for Povetkin, especially having to recover from coronavirus and going into a really tough camp and having to go in there against Dillian White, who's an animal. And I think a Dillian White who's going to be extremely hungry. We spoke about Dillian White's mentality at the start of the video, and that's going to be a big factor. I think it's one that's going to play into Dillian White's favour. I think he's going to come back firing. It's going to be a very scary guy in there. From what I've seen of Dillian White, it doesn't seem like he... He falls down to challenges. He's a maverick. It seems like it's time to raise up to them. I think Povetkin's too old. His legs are not going to be there. And he's going to get knocked out between six and eight. But that's it from me. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Make sure you like the video. Uh, subscribe down below. And I'll be back with more. I'm out. Peace.